Today I'm going to show you how to use the um, Texas Instrument BA2 Plus calculator uh, to make calculations of the Pois for the Poisson distribution. Let's take this example. It says uh, the mean number of customers who arrive at an ice cream stand is every is eight every twenty minutes. What is the probability that exactly ten people arrive in a twenty minute interval? Using the equation in your book, the mu or the average number of arrivals is 8 and we're looking for x being exactly 10. We apply the equation as your book has it and this is the, this is the final answer. Let's see how we can make this computation in one uh, set of keystrokes using the calculator. Start from the top right, uh, put 8 turn it into a negative using this key. Then you want to take e and raise it to the power of that number. So you do second function and click the natural log button. Notice that on top of it it says e to the x. So essentially we're taking e and raising it to the power of negative 8. So click natural log button and this answer is e raised to the power of negative 8. But now we want to multiply it by uh, this term. So you need to open parentheses, put 8 raised to the power of 10, close parentheses, and that's the number 8 raised to the power of 10. But when you hit equal, that number is the answer to the numerator. Now we want to take that number and divide it, so I'm going to hit the division key, divided by 10 factorial. So I'm going to put 10 and the factorial button is a second function key and it's, you use the uh, multiplication button. So you do second function multiply and that number is 10 factorial. So if I hit equal, the answer is 0 0.0993 which is right here and you can also verify it using the Poisson table that's in your book. Another example, let me clear out of this, is this. Uh, what is the probability that exactly 10 people arrive at the ice cream store uh, in a one hour period? Here's a common mistake that students make. Because now we're looking at a one hour period, we need to adjust that 8, which was for every 20 minutes, we need to adjust it so that it fits a one hour period. So because the interval is now one hour or 60 minutes, the mean number of customers must be adjusted to fit the one hour interval. So we use the mean number of arrivals to be 24 in a one hour period and then we go through the same calculation because we want to know exactly 10 people. So f of 10 is this calculation. Let's go through the math quickly on the calculator. We go 24, change it to a negative, second function e, oops, um, 24, turn it to a negative, second function natural log button, multiply it by, open parentheses, 24 raised to the power of 10, close parentheses, divide by um, 10 factorial, second function factorial equals 0 0.0007. So you can do the same type of calculation here. Let me mm, show you um, let's see, the last problem says, what is the probability that at most one customer arrives in a one, in a, in half an hour? At most one customer means one or less. At most one means either 
one or less or fewer customers. So to answer this, we must compute probability that x is less than or equal to 1, which essentially means f of 0 and f of 1. So we need to do two computations and add them up. But wait, here now our um, interval that is given to us is a half hour. So again, we need to adjust the mean number of customers arriving to, for a half hour period. If t eight customers come in 20 minutes, then 12 come in 30 minutes. So our mean to be used, oops, so our mean to be used is 12, or average number to be used is 12, and uh, our x is 0 and 1. So plugging into these equations using the same methodology, use the calculator two different ways to come up with, the first answer would be 0 0.000, Obviously, if you go to few, if you add more decimals here, uh, you're going to get an answer. Um, I think at six decimals you get 0. 0.0006, but um, if you set it to four, you would it would display as 0. 0.000, which is fine. Uh, f of one turns out to be 0. 0.0001, so the, to answer the question, probability that x would be less than or equal to one, or in other words. Uh, one or fewer customers arrive or less one or less customers arrive in a half hour period would be 0.0001 when you add up f of 0 and f of 1 thank you